a JustAZ.com production. We set out to compare the growth and health of three different plants grown in three different nutrients. Fish water from our aquaponic system, a synthetic hydroponic nutrient, and miracle Grow. We placed all three plants, spearmint plants, in the same type of hydroponic system. We used the cracking method in which the plants are set up in a container that acts as a reservoir for the different nutrient solutions and the system is independent of pumps or air stone. Our goal was to find out which nutrient solution performed the best. As you can see, one nutrient didn't meet the challenge. But which nutrient do you think outperformed the others? Well first, let's look at how we set up the experiment. Each reservoir, in this case, coffee cans is filled with a different nutrient solution, leaving approximately one inch of head space or air space between the top of the can and the surface of the nutrient solution. Our first can is filled with fish water. There is water taken directly from one of my fish tanks during a water change. The second can is filled with a synthetic nutrient solution, in this case, power plant. It's available at any hydroponic store. And our third can is filled with a solution using miracle Grow all-purpose fertilizer as a nutrient. We prepared three coffee cans by thoroughly cleaning them out, and then using a hole saw bit, drilled a three and a half inch hole in each of the covers. We're using spearmint plants for this experiment. All three are very close in height, width, and overall health. Before putting the plants in the cracky cans, we remove the soil from the roots. Each plant is then placed in a net pot. The roots need to reach the nutrient solution and actually dip into it. The cans are filled with their respective nutrient solutions and the plants are put into the system. We've labeled each can and recorded the height approximately 13 and a half inches with a width of approximately five inches. Over the next four weeks we are going to be monitoring their health as well as measuring their growth. And we are going to see which nutrient works the best. All three nutrients performed about the same for the first two weeks. We've seen growth on all three of the plants. However, this one started getting a little leggy and then started wilting. The roots never really did develop and after about two weeks we started to see some wilting and drying up of the leaves. So the poorest performer in our nutrient challenge is the miracle Grow. Our runner-up and a close second this plant has had a lot of growth Actually, it may even have gotten a little bit taller than our winter. Leaves are very well developed. Plenty of new growth, almost five inches. The root system is well developed, well on its way. Very healthy looking. And that nutrient is fish water from our aquaponic system. And the winner of our nutrient challenge is Power Plant, hydroponic plant food, commercially bought. Uh, the plant has had a lot of new growth. The leaves are very green and healthy. Uh, the root system is getting very well developed. Uh, well, we declare this one a winner because of its fullness. In conclusion, our winner is Power Plant the commercially bought hydroponic plant food. Coming in a very close second is fish water from our tank. And coming in third is miracle Grow, which is traditionally used in soil gardens and we are not recommending it for use in your hydroponic system. Thanks for watching. Questions or comments, put them in the comment section below. 
and subscribe to our channel for more videos on the DIY lifestyle.